Hello beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy. if you are new here. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I'll wait. I'll wait today. What are you even doing? Okay, so guys, today, I actually wanted today to be like a little catch-up session, so I decided let's do a Q&A, but instead of a Q&A, I want to answer your questions. So yesterday, I put up an Instagram story asking for all your assumptions about me. The responses were varied, creative. I don't expect any less from you guys. So let's jump into it. I don't like long intros. I have my coffee. I have all my questions from you. So let's begin. Assumption numero uno. You spend a lot of money on clothes. Okay. I mean, because obviously I think a lot of people who post a lot on the gram and do social media work, they feel this pressure to always have a new outfit on the feed. And I've definitely been part of that. Like you won't see head to toe probably the same outfit on my IG feed, which I think is unhealthy. So yes, I do end up having a high clothes turnover but maybe in the last like eight to ten months i've decided to have this new little minimalism kick and like for example my friend monica was here the other day and she could not believe my closet like i don't have a walk-in closet i just use like i mean maybe i'll do a house tour sometime but i just use like the cupboards in my house i wear the same thing almost like every day which is like a black top and jeans like really really good jeans so i think my life has been stripped back to basics in a good way and actually i only buy maybe a couple things every few months like i don't do those massive like hauls especially the ones that are fast fashion just because i don't think they're very sustainable like personally so yeah i'm trying to buy things i love and then use them for years and years and years next question you're not so emotional <laughs> Do you know what was funny about these assumptions is that some of you, I'm like, how do you know me so well? Like, it's freaking me out. Some of you, like, maybe you're a bit newer and they were just really funny. But this one is spot on. I'm not, like, a super emotional person. Like, I can be very blunt and maybe a bit too practical sometimes. So, you know when people are, like, really upset and emotional about something? Like, I don't, that's very rare for me. And I can definitely, like, cut off my emotions if I want to. So yeah, you have a bit of a savage here. Next, we have you are tall. Okay, this is a quick one. I'm like a very, very average height. I'm either 5'6 or 5'7. I'm not actually sure, but I'm not tall. I'm just like, if you see me, I'm not tall in real life. <laughs> like, I'm just how you would expect me to be. I'm very boring. Not too short, not too tall. Just there. You're not as organized as you make it seem on social media. Mm. <laughs> this one is not true at all. Like, if anything, I'm more organized than anyone will ever know. And that's not like to show off or it's a good thing. I think like if my entire life is not in order and if I don't feel like I know exactly what's going on in every area of my life, I get stressed. <laughs> I get anxious. That's not a good thing. Like I I should be able to go with the flow and like not really know what's happening tomorrow or next week but for me like i need to know what am i wearing every day what am i doing every day what am i eating every day also i find just just like having organized structures and routine means that i'm not spending time deciding things like i just want to enjoy my life without having to think oh like oh what hours do I work in a day or especially as someone who works freelance like I don't do nine to five hours so I said that myself so I think it's just best for me to know what I'm doing and yeah I'm super organized I am I just am like just ask anyone who spends a lot of time with me maybe to a fault but personally it works like it works for my life Okay, so we're gonna get to a question that I got asked the most. This was my most asked question. You're an introvert. You're more of an extrovert than an introvert. You're introverted. You'd rather chill at home than go out to a party. I think you have a wild side to you that you choose not to show on the internet. You don't like clubbing. You're an extrovert behind closed doors. You're definitely not as shy or introverted as people assume. Okay, so is Tammy an introvert or an extrovert? I wasn't sure. Like, I feel like sometimes we don't know things about our ourselves but the people close to us will know better so here's what i did i messaged four people 
okay first off we have my mother she said hmm more intro sometimes does extrovert when you feel like or is necessary but versus outgoing or shy outgoing next we had my boyfriend who said i think you are more outgoing than shy you can speak in any crowd in any room and you are not the type to go into some corner and hide so i would say outgoing but not an extrovert can you see the difference i'm i like to do things with people but i'm not an extrovert and then next we had my best friend simi she sent me a voice note of course i'm just gonna play it you're an introvert but you're an extrovert around the right people that's what i'd say you'd be like um outgoing and shy you're definitely outgoing you're not you're definitely not shy but you wouldn't be the loudest in the room does that make sense so but around the right people you're an extrovert so around people you're close to you're an extrovert like a big extrovert but i'd say the outgoing and shy one you are definitely not the loudest in the room so i wouldn't say you're not shy you're very confident but you're definitely i wouldn't say you're outgoing and then finally we have one of my other best friends Gigi, who said I'd like to say you're actually a cocktail of both. Like you enjoy alone time and listening to others in crowds, but then you're also an extrovert in the way you love to party and are a blogger. I think she meant influencer. <laughs> more outgoing than you are shy you have more confidence than anyone i know so here's the thing after all of that feedback i'm an introvert who likes going out i like a turn up for sure and actually do you know what the thing is is that i think i'm an extrovert when i'm around people i like and in normal situations i'm an extrovert unless there are other extroverts there so here's the thing is that if there are people there who are super super loud and shouting i'm not going to try and shout over them does that make sense if you're in a situation where everyone is like pretty talkative or maybe there are a couple of shy people there i might be like the loudest person so like it depends on the situation and i am like a situational extrovert versus introvert and also if i don't like you like i'm keeping quiet <laughs> i think that's the thing is that if you're rude or like something happens like i'm not giving you any of me but if i really like you then i'll be super chatty like also i really like talking to strangers which is kind of weird for an introvert but like i'll make small chat with anyone like if i'm in an uber like i'm that chatty person if i'm getting a coffee or like at a restaurant i talk to the waiter like i like to make convo but yeah not the loudest in the room for sure for sure for sure like that would be very rare next question you've had a nose job no i have not this is the nose that god gave me <laughs> i've had no work on my face no nose job this is like a spicy one okay you're aware of your privilege i really really like this question just because i feel like sometimes people who are privileged are scared to talk about it and i think that kind of doesn't help anyone especially when you live in a society where you have so many different social statuses of course in this world you have people who have been given an insane advantage and people who have had less advantages and people who have had no advantages and i think you have to admit that that's true it doesn't matter how much you work or how much you do with your life if you're given a step ahead you need to acknowledge that um, if you look at it as a race you have some people who are starting at the start line some people are 10 meters some people are 100 meters and i'm someone who has been so lucky to have had that step ahead not just from having an amazing education amazing family who loved and supported me you know monetary advantages so you need to be aware of it i think that doesn't mean that you don't also accomplish things in your life that's just the reality you know and that's also i think how you start tackling all these inequalities in, in our society first off by saying that there are a lot of things that are inequal and you know how do we balance the skills in some way <laughs> do i look like an anti-vaxxer assumption number i don't know you didn't take the vaccine yes i took I took my vaccine. I took it willingly and I took it as soon as I could, okay? Please, if you can, <laughs> get your vaccines done. Let's protect each other, especially the most vulnerable. You feel most alive while acting. Yes, I would say like when I'm acting, like not just being on set, not just the environment, but when you're actively acting, that's one of my most special moments and I can't wait to do it more. But yeah, definitely. 
you've never worked in an office you know like a nine to five okay so this is kind of true but not true so when i was 14 15 i started doing my first like summer jobs work experience internship okay so those were not office spaces but they were retail so like on the shop floor i worked for oscar de la renta in london dodo so i would like be the girl who'd go in the back bring out the clothes serve people get sizes they didn't let me like even bag <laughs> like you know when you wrap the shopping i didn't even get to do that but you know just like little tasks but that was like nine to almost seven sometimes then i also did uh, a little work experience at burberry in their office that was also a work experience also a lot of like charity work but that would be a nine to five so i'm ambitious about autism i worked for when i was 16 or 17 and then developments in literacy when i started jtofashion.com the ogs will know that was also during school so once i left university i was working full-time as like an influencer already so all my nine to fives were like summer jobs in between school when i was 14 to 17 ish so i have done them but just not full-time if that makes sense <laughs> so yes i know you love love and romance okay so i said that i am not emotional i'm not super emotional but am i a romantic yeah actually do you know what like i go hard for love like i really do believe in love no i don't believe in one true love i don't think that's true i think that's cap i think i could have like <laughs> I stopped talking. Let me not get in trouble. No, what I mean is that, okay, there's 7 billion people. Is it AIDS even now on this planet? Like, I think that love is also compatibility. So out of those, let's say, 7 billion, you might be super freaking compatible with like 1,000 people. But they might not speak your language. You might never cross their path, you know? Okay, I don't sound like a romantic. The fact I'm even saying this, do you know I'm not a romantic? I do love love, like the feeling of love. I think it's like really beautiful. Especially even like family love, friendship love. Like that's really cool. But um, I don't watch a lot of like romantic movies. Maybe The Notebook, what else? I don't know. I would actually prefer to watch like a drama. So no, Tammy is not romantic. I really talk my way through that whole process. You saw my brain cells. Like, clicking into place no no romantic you struggle with body image Ooh, wow okay we're gonna get deep now okay so have i struggled in the past yes are there days where I'm like, I want to change this. I wish my body could look like this. Did I wish I woke up every single day and love my body, like, regardless of any faults I see? Yes. But luckily, I'm in a really good place my body image, which is so good. Uh, and I'm so happy I'm here right now and, like, I can love my body and feel good about it. But I just think, especially because of the society we live in right now, like, the way before all you can compare yourself to are like your friends the people you see at school or whatever but now obviously we have social media and every week there's like a new desirable body type and you're too fat you're too skinny you're too straight you're too curvy you know it's that feeling that okay what is my body supposed to be and that's when you come to a place where you're like do you know what my body is the way it is and it's beautiful like my body is great i don't need to have a body like this or like that as long as i like what i see that's all that matters you know and you know if you do want to make changes like more power to you the key is that do you like yourself regardless of anything when you just deep that life is short and your body is healthy and it can get you from a to b like if you're lucky enough to even have a functional working body like all of that stuff doesn't matter it really doesn't like as long as you're looking after yourself you're healthy you have a body that moves and touches and feels and like that is such a blessing already so i just like to put my thoughts into that perspective and be like yo i'm so blessed to have a functional body full stop anything else is a bonus and like my body is beautiful your body is beautiful everybody's body is beautiful in its own special way so yeah I did get a couple comments about my weight loss. Let me try and pull that up. You do not want to disclose information about your weight loss slash vegetarian journey. 
Okay, so the reason I've never like spoken about my weight loss or like how I lost weight, I mean, if you're new here, you wouldn't even know what I'm talking about. But about two years ago, I was a lot um, heavier, I guess. It's just because like, I just don't want it to be a trigger for people. I've had issues with body image and I lost weight in a healthy way after it took a lot of trial and error. What works for me might not work for you. I was always copying other people's methods for weight loss. Like I would watch videos or buy diet plans and I would never lose weight, right? And it was actually the book Intuitive Eating that really set me on that journey for my weight loss. And I think I've spoken about it before, but the whole point of intuitive eating is that you're not copying the way anyone else eats. You're not in a diet. I do not diet. Like I don't think I will ever diet again. And again, like I've lost weight from not dieting just because that diet mentality can completely mess up your relationship with food in my opinion again <laughs> another reason yeah i don't like speaking on these things because i am not an expert like i'm just a girl sitting here talking to you guys i'm just a girl standing here and asking you to love her um that's from notting hill i'm just a girl who's like okay this is what happened to me i struggled with my weight i had to like rebuild my relationship with food and exercise and now yes i'm vegetarian but not because of diet not because of weight loss like trust me if i wanted to eat meats like if i had cravings for meat i would eat meat but intuitive eating showed me that like the things my body crave are carbs and uh veg and fruit and like kind of fats like you know like vegetable fats and stuff and any diet book will tell you not to eat carbs like that doesn't make sense but i lost weight eating more carbs than i've ever eaten it's so, like it does not make sense i think our bodies are all built so differently so really go on that journey yourself and um yes i'm vegetarian because <laughs> Like, I don't know, I just am. Like, I am someone who's had, like, childhood weirdness with food. As many of you know, I've never tasted ketchup in my life, which is so weird. Like, I've never tasted, ketchup has never touched my tongue, right? So, I already have weird stuff with food. I was vegetarian from, like, 12 to 16. Then I did on and off from, like, 18 to 20 two like vegan for a week and then not vegan and then now i haven't eaten meat for two years but i'm not vegan i'm vegetarian now so i will eat dairy products every now and again because my body can deal with it and i crave it i don't eat meat because i don't crave it i just don't think my body needs it i'm very happy without it it is not a diet thing you will not lose weight eating meat or not eating meat I, like i don't think those two things uh parallel each other in terms of what works for you so i mean maybe in the future i will do a video and like healthy lifestyle stuff how i look after myself i just think that sometimes sharing diet info can just be like super triggering for people so that's why okay this one made me so happy you like nikki minaj i'll wait okay <laughs> here's where we get into it if i stan like if i stan a single celebrity like i don't stan anyone i don't follow anyone me like i'm just not into that that much if i stan one person you know that meme where it says which celebrity do you defend like you're being paid for it nikki 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 i am a barb actually kind of inherited through my sister copy is also a nikki stan so she got me into her music and then we would go to like all her shows in london together since like i've, I've been to multiple nikki shows again like one of the only concerts i'll go to all my barbs comment <laughs> i want to see you <laughs> you don't take alcohol no i drink i drink alcohol short and sweet one yeah i drink you're a people pleaser wow this is becoming therapy uh yes unfortunately that is one thing i'm trying to work on i think it's just i don't like number one disappointing people i feel pressure to always to give people what they want even in terms of like expectations or like not setting boundaries of like what works for me but then also i'm someone who's like i only do things that work for me it's really weird but when i want someone to like me i really want them to like me which is so bad i'm just trying to be self-aware and it can be based on nothing it can be based on i just want this person to rock with me it can just be based on that it's not like oh i'm just gonna pretend but i'm just like okay this is me like i am my most tamey tamey when people have this again assumptions of who i am so i'm really trying hard to be like no i'm not like that like this is what i am i talked about this on my podcast 
how far podcast link below on an episode with T and I was saying that because a lot of people meet me and they have this idea of what I am a lot of things you guys said today uh, introverted snobbish things like that basically spoiled privileged you know those are all fair assumptions to have but I really did I just say assumptions assumptions to have so sometimes I push a bit too much and I'm like <laughs> I'm not like that at all like I'm so easy breezy cool like I'm not like that in any way <laughs> does that make sense I hope it does but I am working on it I'm a work in progress aren't we all you're more private about what goes into running your brand slash business yes yes I think that is true I'm just not someone who likes to announce things before they happen and i'm doing that more and actually i don't like it like i don't like talking about things until they're signed off on like if there's a contract the contract has to be signed i will not announce something unless it's about to come out like i don't like early announcements like when it comes it comes i think usually the hype is better when it's fresh so even behind the scenes of what i do day to day a lot of you guys don't know because also i guess part of social media work and sometimes your brand as an influencer is is that you want everything you're doing to be effortless right like people are following you because they have this idea of your life and you know it might be a bit of escapism and they want to see that okay this is glitz and glam and nice clothes and good food and that's what you're showing your audience but as it has been said many times before instagram is a highlight reel and no one's life is really like that i don't know if they are but mine certainly is not and presenting this to you is my job <laughs> like presenting the fine cuts like if you have a steak take off all the fat sear it slice it thinly and make it into a carpaccio right like that is what we are showing you on instagram you're not seeing like admin emails and setting up shoots um scheduling posts in you know like the whole point is that it's meant to seem like i wake up i look like this i take a picture and i'm living life <laughs> <laughs> you're not seeing anything that is the work and business of social media and yes anything you make fr money from is a job like anything you make money from is a business and some people still can't wrap their heads around you know being an influencer or working on social media but at the end of the day if you're getting a check it's a check <laughs> and that doesn't make it any less of a job than anything else right and not to say that we work harder, but we are doing some form of work. <laughs> yeah. You are an early bird. Yes, I am. I mean, I think with everything in life, not just waking up early or work or socializing, I always go through seasons. Right now, I'm having a semi-work hiatus. So obviously, I'm posting this, so I am still putting out content. But for some of my usual work, I'm taking a break. I've had changes in my team, like a lot is changing internally. I've been highly social, like my August has been highly social. I'm going out with friends on weekdays. Usually I only go out on the weekends just because I have to be up at 5 a.m. But that 5 a.m. is right now 7 a.m. But when I'm in work mode, like if I'm prepping for a movie, that can be 4.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. Wake up workout routine 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 i'm being a lot more flexible this month but i know because my september october will be crazy so i think it's hard to be consistently at 5 a.m so when i can do 7 or 8 a.m i take it and mama needs her sleep like i need seven or eight hours or oh, you can't find me so yes <laughs> i go to bed at 9 p.m sometimes i mean i don't have kids like why shouldn't i <laughs> that sounds crazy i know but i like it i like mornings sue me take me to court i don't care you seem like the type of person who really values slash appreciates the little things details yes i try to do this i try to kind of live each day for each day and just appreciate everything even the things that i don't want to do or i find boring at least appreciate that i get to do them i get to wake up every day and have a new experience right I'm waking up with health i'm waking up with food i'm waking up with shelter like just appreciate those small small things and also like <laughs> i don't know just enjoy every experience you know 
because sometimes you've lived a week and you can't even remember what you did and I don't want my whole life to happen that way so just really like take in everything you're doing you know even if it's like cleaning the dishes like just be involved in that activity I guess that's what mindfulness is staying present meditation like any activity in life without becoming too freaky <laughs> To, without being too much of a Pisces, everything in life can be a meditation activity if you want it to be. You're a lovely person but can be a real B when cross, period. Period with a T. This is another one I should have asked my friends and family. Yeah, when I want to be, I think, I think I'm a nice person but also like I have this other side that maybe comes out a couple times a year that's just like, no, I'm not taking any of this. Foot down, don't cross me. It's just that type of energy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, maybe it's come out one or two times. You are very hardworking and very conscientious with money. I mean, for hardworking, I'm just someone who is appreciative of every opportunity and if given the opportunity, I'm going to give my thousand percent, whether or not that matches what it needs to match, that's fine. But as long as I can sleep at night knowing I did what I could, that's all I care about. And I feel like if there's something to be done, do it now. Like I'm just of that mindset of let's cross it off now, let's get it done. Yes, I am a saver. Like I'm not a splurger. I'm not like I actually have always saved. I've always just had that mentality of maybe save 80%, spend 20. And even that 20 I spend, it'll be on something that's not a splurge item. So um, I think, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good habit I have of always thinking about, okay, what can I do with my savings? And that's actually come up to be good like as a young adult <laughs> that okay like for example i'm working on a project now that i can't tell you guys about it's one of my next big business ventures and i was only able to do that from saving for like from like the last five years and yeah there are also a lot of investments i do but again like <laughs> it's just not something i talk about maybe i will soon maybe i will soon but it's, it's not kind of just what you guys see. There are a lot of things I'm doing behind the scenes that maybe only one or two people know. But I just make sure that my income and my savings are diverse and spread out. You have Virgo tendencies. Uh, do I? Okay, wait. Okay, Virgos are humble, self-effacing, industrious, practical. I don't know. Do I? <laughs> Any Virgos watching, let me know. Do I have Virgo energy? I'm not really sure about that. You like minimalism and routines. Yes, how do you guys know me so well? I have been transitioning to like more of a minimal lifestyle. Uh, I try not to buy things I don't need. At some point, I will try and do an apartment tour, but I don't like clutter. I don't like anything superfluous. Like if it doesn't need to be there, it doesn't need to be there. And routines, yeah. Morning routine, night routine, week routine. So like my Monday has office theme. Tuesday is like acting team. <laughs> theme, theme, team. <laughs> Wednesday is YouTube and socials. Thursday is another office admin day. Friday is meetings, appointments, and then that's it. But even my days have like a general theme, right? So love a routine. You didn't go to uni. Yes, I went to uni. I went to UCL. Yeah, in London, I studied history of art that's about it i mean have i used my degree no i have not i learned a lot of interesting things yes i did do i regret it no i do not <laughs> But yeah, um, at that time, I think I wanted to go into the art world or I didn't think that blogging, which I used to do, would work out as a full-time job. So I was just having a plan B. I wanted to own a gallery or something. Um, so yeah, art would have been my plan B. You were nervous about how people would feel about your acting in Citation. No, do you know, do you know what's weird is that once that whole experience fell into place, I just said, God, I'm leaving it with you. As you know, that was my first ever time acting and I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it would work, but I just had so much faith in God and I just, <laughs> I don't know, I just left it up 
to to God, to the universe and decided that okay, whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. Again, on set, I tried my very best. Anything I could do, any preparation. I didn't leave a stone unturned. I think that's the whole point is that if I was doing a half ass job, didn't learn my lines and didn't prepare and didn't do what I could, then I would have been nervous. But I <laughs> Like I did all and everything I could so I felt very relaxed. Obviously, I was nervous watching it for the first time I was watching it like this <laughs> But no, um, as long as I felt proud of myself, I didn't really care what anyone thought. And just to have a reaction that was so positive, I couldn't have been happier. And I really do appreciate that people responded well to it. But I think sometimes you have to do things, not for yourself, but you need to actually... My camera keeps on cutting off! Why? Okay, so what I was saying was that I think sometimes our metrics need to be ourselves. Um, we shouldn't be thinking about how will other people react to it. It's how hard did I work for this? How proud am I of this? And that's what I did going into it and also trying to make the cast and crew proud. That was Those were my main focuses. Um, so everything else was just a bonus and I mean we'll see with the next movie. I hope I haven't jinxed this now by saying all of that. Like Tammy, well, you'll be biting your hand in like a couple months. You prefer Ghanaian Jollof to Nigerian Jollof? No. <laughs> Am I gonna get in trouble for this? No. <laughs> Niger Jalof. Please, please, please. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was a lot of questions. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, you made it to the end. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys want me to do this again, please comment below. Any future video ideas, also let me know. And if you have not yet subscribed, what are you even doing? Hit the subscribe button now. And I will see you all soon. Remain blessed. Sending you love. Also, Thaddy says hi. Sorry. I feel like Thaddy has not had a moment. Okay, love from me and Teddy. Bye.